Coral reefs cover less than 0.1% of the Earth's surface, but account for over 25% of marine biodiversity that exists on our planet. These reefs are found around the world, although mainly in warm, shallow areas with clear waters where the abundance of solar energy supports high levels of productivity. Many of the world's shark species can be found patrolling the world's most complex ecosystems. There is an incredible diversity of life that exists within the coral reefs of the world. The reef's namesake, the coral, is in itself a group consisting upwards of 8,000 species divided into two main categories, the hard and soft corals. Most of what we consider to be coral are actually microscopic animals that coexist with phytosynthetic algae that produce much of the nutrients on which the tiny animal depend. These corals build rock-solid exoskeletons that alter the form of the shallow sea floors. Other corals have soft bodies and depend on filter feeding to collect plankton from the nutrient-poor waters in which they live. The reef is also home to another 1,500 species of brightly colored or camouflaged fish countless mollusks, almost 7,000 species of echinoderms, and a huge variety of crustaceans. And those are just the smaller organisms. There are also numerous species of turtles, eels, ray, and sharks that all call the reef home. The economic value of coral reefs to the world is estimated at up to 375 billion US dollars per year with fishing and tourism being the most obvious industries that benefit from these ecosystems. No less important is the value of coral reefs to coastal regions and settlements in the form of wave and storm protection for the shoreline. Without this protection, thousands of kilometers of coastline used for farming or home could be lost to erosion. But the reality is that coral reefs are under threat because we're not taking care of our resources. Destructive fishing practices are destroying coral reefs and irresponsible tourism is putting pressure on this sensitive marine ecosystem. Even terrestrial practices are having a negative impact on our coral reefs. Increased sedimentation caused by erosion from agriculture or development projects damages coral by increasing turbidity or preventing feeding. We need to understand that even slight changes in water temperature or acidity can have drastic effects on coral growth and repair. But there is hope. It doesn't have to be this way. Creating marine parks in sensitive areas can help protect much of the diversity without undermining local economies that depend on the resources. And providing local people with the training necessary to earn their living using sustainable practices will encourage people in direct contact with the reefs to protect them. It's up to all of us to take care of this precious resource so that it will take care of us long into the future travel responsibly and refuse to purchase marine products that have been obtained or produced in illegal or unsustainable ways. Use your purchasing power to tell companies that you expect and demand the protection of our world's most diverse biome.